Hi, it's me, Rashid, coach, speaker, and author, and hi, and very welcome to the final Catch the Coach newsletter and video newsletter of 2016. And wow, what a year it has been. We've got lots to cover in this final newsletter. We're going to be reviewing your year. We're going to be talking about clearing the decks and looking ahead. We're going to be looking at the importance of reflection. And we're just going to be talking about celebrating and just getting the best out of the year. So let's crack on. Let's get on with it. Wow, what a year it's been. 2016, it's all happened, hasn't it, this year? Um, on the political scene, um, uh, the UK, the US, Brexit, Europe, everything changed, everything in flux. Um, it's been quite a year, quite a year all round, an important year to kind of pause and reflect um, and to be very um, balanced and mindful about how it is that we are going to progress. So that's things on the global scene. And of course, we've also lost lots of um, great um, figures this year. But in this newsletter, what I want to talk about is you reviewing your year. So that's our first point and our first stop off point in this issue. I want you to first of all pause and just think. It's been quite a long year, but it's often, as with many years, gone quite swiftly. What have been the highlights of your year? So what have been the highlights? What have been the things that you're really pleased with? Just jot them down. You might want to pause this in order to do that, to get a piece of paper. What have been the highlights? Personally and professionally. Next, what have the challenges been? At home, in your own life, in your working life. Again, just take that time just to pause, to think about it, to capture it. Next up, what's all the learning been? So mindful of the highlights and mindful of the challenges. What's your learning been? Often we rush ahead and we don't take that learning. And having considered that, what are the things that you're wanting to and need to prioritise next year? So it might be personal things, it might be financial things, it might be family things, it might be things in terms of your career that you need to focus on. And what help and support do you feel that you're going to need? And that you also have. So just by way of recap, what have been the highlights? What have been the challenges? What's been the learning? And what need to be your priorities? And what help and support do you need moving forward? And I'll pick up on this in my first Catch the Coach of 2017. So that's your review of 2016. Leads us on nicely to my tip for the month. My tip for this month is reflection. We can be so, so busy rushing ahead that we kind of forget to reflect. But reflection is key to progress. There's little growth and progression without mindful learning and reflection. So my tip for the month is, however it is, you might be busy preparing for the season, the festive season, the holiday season and so on. Take that time out to pause and to gently reflect. Might be, you might even want to do that now, just to pause here. You might want to close your eyes. And just gently reflect. And just zoom through the year, what's happened for you. What's happened for family members too and friends? What's happened in work? Just note the year. Note the journey you've been on. Note the learning. Just be grateful. I think taking out time to regularly reflect can be so powerful coach many people in many fields who, as part of their work, have to reflect. So that's our tip for the month, reflect. It's one of the best ways to help you mindfully move ahead. So we've talked about your review of the year. We've talked about reflection. I now want to talk about just clearing the decks. I'm mindful that there are some things to clear the decks on. Um, people often get overwhelmed at this time of the year, so I'm just going to simplify it. Just my three tips. First, number one is clear the decks. 
what is essential to be sorted out at home and at work. I say essential because <laughs> there's only a certain number of days you've got left. So what's really essential that you need to clear and sort at home and at work. Next step, plan ahead. Again, link to our review. What perhaps are the two or three things that are really important for you? It might be certain things personally, financially, and professionally. Jot those down. And what key things is it that you need to put in place? And thirdly, rest. I'm mindful that at this time of year, many people feel tired, they feel overwhelmed, they feel exhausted. So it's really important that you take the time that you need just to rest and to relax. Um, whatever it is that you're doing over the festive season, the Christmas season, make sure you put in that time where you can rest and relax, even if it's just a day or two for you. Um, next up, I just want to talk very, very briefly um, about some events you might be wanting to kind of prepare for the end of this year or prepare for next year. And remember that there's um, two events I regularly run, Networking for Success. The last day of 2016 um, is the 7th of December. And the first date for 2017 is the 12th of January. A link to that will be below for all my events or just go to rosario.com forward slash events and you can see all the event dates. So that's a good way to start your, your career or end, and start or end your year with um, some really good networking to help you build connections to get back out there into the world. Um, the second event to bring to your attention is Soul Trade of Your Life, Your Business. We run this quarterly for those people who are starting or running their own business or keen or thinking about doing their own thing. And it will help you gain the clarity, the confidence, the connections and to move forward um, in a way that's really authentic to you in your, in, in your heart. So it's about building your business by heart. The last date for that for this year is the 12th of December. And the first date for 2017 is the February the 8th. And again, you'll see all the details on my website and on rosario.com and on the subtrader.biz website as well. But ju or just follow the link below this and you can um, book onto that. Right, we are heading toward the end of uh, the newsletter. And um, I think the last thing I just want to talk about is just celebrating. Celebrate good times, come on, as the song said. You know, um, it's been quite a year. A year of shock, surprises, change, transformation. Um, and I think that um, with every year, it's really important to celebrate. I think that's one of the key themes about this end of the year, isn't it? Whatever it means to you, whether it's a festive time, whether it is a, um, a family time, whether it is a spiritual time, it is a time of appreciation, of gratitude, of um, celebrating. Um, so I really encourage you to have, um, have fun um, and be grateful for every day that you have and the people who are in your life. Um, and on that note, actually, I just want to take a final moment just to thank absolutely everybody um, this year, the people who watch and read the newsletter, the people who follow me on social media and um, at LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. I'm very, very grateful for the people who come along to my workshops and events, the British Library. I want to thank the British Library team. Um, I want to thank all my clients. There would be no business without the clients. I'm very, very grateful to you all and, and that. I mean, individuals and also companies too. I've worked with some amazing people this year and um, I just want to thank you very, very much. Um, see you very, very, very soon. Have a fantastic time. Enjoy, celebrate, be sensible, be safe. <laughs> Take good care. See you. Bye-bye.